Media girl here. Uh, so this is part two of the video. Just ignore Ralph's face and just pay attention to the guitar. So obviously, like it's got really rounded edges, right? Um, and it did keep going. I'm gonna go ahead and actually give you guys a little more of a close up on this. It is really cool. I would have liked to have maybe a little less of the red showing through, but it's. I think it's gorgeous. I love it. Yeah. Um, so that's how it dried. And now what we need to do is block out Ralph's face. Let's um, see if, we get if you don't like fun, probably don't watch this video. Okay. But it, so the tape, like I said, wasn't going to stop it. So it did keep going. And now we need to sand the back again to get that part off and then tape it again. And then very carefully do this side because the more important side is the front. And we don't want to jack that up. And that's going to be a real challenge because it's very rounded right here as well. So I don't know how we're going to even do that and if it's going to work. We just literally have to do our best. I'm going to, we're going to be a lot more careful on the back than we were on the front. All right, we're going to go ahead and get to sanding it. We're ready to sand. I did put a little towel under here just so we don't totally jack up the front somehow. Um, but yeah, we're going to just go ahead and get to it. All right, we have sanded it, and we're going to do the same thing as last time. Ralphie's going to tape it off while I mix the resin, and I'm going to go over the colors again real quick that we're using. We're using the Stone Coat Countertops white base tint, <laughs> the black base tint, and the Color Cottage um, Blushing Pink and Heather Glen, and then the Stone Coat Countertops um, bronze metallic and crater lake blue and then we are using stone coat countertops art coat all right we're gonna go ahead and tape and mix and we'll be back okay we have gotten it all taped off um, we actually used this um, fancy Tyvek tape I think it's called um, it's quite expensive, but it's what Stone Coat Countertops uses when they do their river tables. So I thought it may work well for this. Um, hopefully, we will find out. So we're going to go ahead and get to painting. And once again, this part will be sped up. And um, we're just going to have some fun with it. Okay guys, so we're done with this part. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but I did almost light this tape on fire. Woo woo! That's because I broke my little torch somehow, so I had to use the big kid torch, which is scary. Anyways, um, this is gonna continue to move, obviously, so it will look definitely different when it is dry, just as the other side did. But we'll go ahead and do a close up real quick. All right, I'll start in this edge closest to me. So we've got, this is very colorful. Um, I made it a little more wild and crazy, I think, than the other side. We shall see. I'm very curious to see how this dries. Um, it will keep moving. So it's already, as you can see, it's running off over here. The way we did the tape, though, was specifically so that it would run down and not under the top of the guitar. So I'm not too worried about that. I am definitely worried, but not super worried. Anyways, 
I can't wait to see how this dries. Uh, this is the end of part two, guys. So part three, providing I don't decide to do another layer of color on it, part three will be um, this dry and then doing the clear coat on both sides and putting everything back together. So I'm very excited about that. Can't wait. Come out in just a few days to do that. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time.